everyone, welcome to Amala Movement, I'm Charlotte. Today we have a gentle flow that stays low to the ground. This is perfect if you're looking to stay connected to your yoga practice and give your knees and your wrists a little break. Let's get started. I invite you to join me today in a cross-legged, comfortable seated position on the floor. This is going to be a floor-based yoga practice, so if you know that your hips and your lower back will appreciate some pillows, cushions, blankets or towels, of course, go and grab them now and take your time, pause the video, come back when you're ready. We're going to go straight in with bringing our hands together on Jale Mudra in front of the heart. I invite you to join me in closing the eyes and gently bowing your chin down to your chest. And as we move through this practice today, I really invite you to find comfort, and find ease in both your body and your mind, and find Find what your body needs and trust that you can give it that. Take this time at the beginning of this practice to deepen your breath. Can you allow the breath to feel effortless, soft, easy? And let's take a moment just to ask ourselves, what is it that we are looking for right now in our practice? And maybe that's rest. Maybe you're looking for some self-love. Maybe some reassurance, some self-care, whatever it is. Just let that come to you. Can you really, really, really allow yourself to give that to yourself in the next few moments of our practice? Let's take one more beautiful cycle of breath all together. Slowly, 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 starting to blink the eyelids open. Sitting tall. And giving yourself a hug, right arm on top. Hands to your shoulders and start to walk the fingertips further round your back. Opening the chest, sitting tall, take a lovely deep breath in. And exhale, drop your chin to your chest, allow your spine to round. Relax the back of your head and take any movement of the neck, the shoulders and the upper back that just feels good. Maybe shaking your head gently from side to side. Maybe your whole upper body takes a gentle rock. And then sitting nice and tall and imagine that you're taking off a jumper. Your arms are going to unfold and then pause for a moment with your hands behind your head. Lift the chest, squeeze the elbows back, inhale. And exhale, bring your right fingertips, just the fingertips to the floor beside you. Lifting your left arm all the way up, create this space down the left side of the body and your exhale can take you up and over. Feel free to bend this left arm generously. Be kind to yourself. You can close the eyes, really tune into the sensations of this practice. Can you keep the breath moving freely in the body? And your inhale brings you all the way back up. Arms out wide. Exhale. Come back to giving yourself a hug, this time the left arm on top. 
hands to your shoulders and walk the fingertips around the back. Open up the front body, lifting the chest, look up, inhale. Exhale, drop the chin, round the spine. Give yourself this big hug. We all need a hug sometimes. Take any movements that feel good right now. And maybe that stillness. Maybe that's a gentle rock from side to side. Soften the back of your neck. Sitting up tall. Imagine taking off your jumper and pausing as your hands come behind your head. Squeeze the elbows back, lifting your chest. Lovely inhale and exhale, bring your left fingertips, just the fingertips down, extend the right arm up towards the sky and we go up and over. So really encouraging this space down the right side of your body, opening up through the armpit. Feel free to bend this arm, close the eyes if this feels nice, ground down through your right sit bone, don't go flying over to the left and come all the way back up, stretching your arms up towards the side, really reaching. Hands come down, big exhale, be soft. And then swap your legs over. So whichever leg has been in front, bring it behind you. This is probably gonna feel really awkward and a little bit strange, but that's fine, just roll with that. <laughs> so from here, bring your right elbow on top of your left. We're coming into eagle arms. Press your hands away from your face. Lift your elbows up towards the sky. Inhale, open up through the front side of the body. Lift the chest. And exhale, round the spine, almost like a cat cow. Keep your elbows pressing away from the body. Keep your hands pressing away from the face. Hollow out the tummy. Feel this gorgeous little stretch. Well, quite intense stretch for the shoulders. We can smile. And sitting up nice and tall. Arms come out towards the side. Feel that space and breadth in the collarbones. And let's swap sides. So left elbow comes on top this time. Hands together. Press the hands away from the face, the elbows up towards the sky. Lift and open the chest. Find a slight back bend, looking up. Exhale, drop your chin round the spine, hollow out the tummy. Take what you need. Can you return to your intention? Find that in this practice, in this moment right now. Give yourself whatever it is you need. And maybe you don't know, and that's okay too. Oh, on your next inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, spread the arms out wide, feel that openness. And then twinkle it down. All the way back to your knees. Excellent. So from here, bring your right foot down towards the earth and your knee up towards the sky. Keep this left leg exactly as it is. And we're looking to find a stretch in our glutes. So this already might be there for you. If it is, stay here. If you're looking for something deeper, cross the right leg all the way over your left so you're in a pretzel position. Roll the shoulders into your back. Sit nice and tall. Bring your left hand to your right knee. Roll your right shoulder in towards your back and allow that to find you a twist. We're just working on the fingertips today, so don't go pressing down into the wrist. Stay lifted through the palm. Your inhale can create that extra space, that extra sense of lifting through the spine, opening out through the chest. And your exhale, can you find ease? Can you find softness and a letting go? One more cycle of breath, inhale. And exhale. Untwisting yourself, holding onto your right knee and helping yourself to extend the right leg all the way out towards the side. You can use your hands on the mat to shuffle, help adjust wherever you are. Wake up this left foot, so flexing, 
and just checking that this right knee is up towards the sky so we're not looking it to fold and roll in. So adjust as you need to. Right fingertips come down. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Exhale, find that opening through the side body. Feel free to bend that left elbow. Close the eyes. Tap into your breath. Tap into finding enjoyment and nourishment in your practice right now. Coming all the way back up to centre and bringing your fingertips to the this edge, the left edge of your mat. And you're going to help yourself to transition into pigeon pose. So come up onto your left knee and sink the hips down towards the earth. So this is where you can use pillows underneath your pelvis. I invite you to keep your left heel quite close in towards your right hip. So rather than looking for this 90 degree angle, which can feel quite intense, ease off, find the space in the body. Roll your shoulders in towards your back, opening up through the chest and the collarbones. And with a soft smile, exhale, fold all the way down. Bring your hands to Anjali Mudra. So finding a prayer position. And taking a lovely rock from side to side. So I think finding this sway in the body can really help to feel settled. It helps me to feel um, a sense of comfort and ease and more security in my practice. So this is working for you, stay with it. Otherwise, you can find stillness. Let's bring our fingertips back down to the mat. Slowly roll all the way up through the spine. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the chest and then rock onto your left hip so you can swivel back round to face the front. And let's take the other side. So the right knee is going to come down. Plant the left foot into your mat with the knee up towards the sky. So this is a lovely option, slightly easier for the hip and the lower back. For a deeper stretch, cross the left foot over the right knee. Bring your right hand to the left knee. Sit up to roll your left shoulder in towards your back and find that spiral, finding that twist. In kids yoga, I call this mermaid pose. So you can tap into that if you want. Imagine you're a mermaid. <laughs> you're sitting nice and tall. You've got a lovely pearl necklace on. Use your breath to find length and ease in the whole of the body. And your exhale can untwist as you come back to center. Use your hands to help you bring the left leg all the way out towards the side. Make any adjustments using your fingertips on the air. Wake up this right foot, giving it a flex and just checking that your left knee isn't um, rotating in. So we're actively uh, putting it up towards the sky. Left fingertips down, right hand all the way up. Exhale towards the left. You can bend this right elbow, it doesn't need to be nice and straight. We can find that softness in our practice. Allow the head to soften. You don't need to go to your deepest stretch. On your next inhale, come all the way back up. Use your fingertips to help you as you pivot and rotate towards the right side of your mat, bringing your right heel in towards your left hip, shoulders in towards your back. Look up towards the sky, let your belly feel soft. And exhale, come onto your forearms with your hands under the mudra prayer position. 
close your eyes if this feels lovely. Find a gentle rock and a sway from side to side. And although we are relaxing into this shape, can we keep an engagement in the back of the neck? So thinking about finding length. So we're not looking up and breaking the line of the neck and we're not tucking the chin too much. We've got this length, this awareness in the whole of the body. Great. Let's bring our fingertips to the mat. Coming up nice and slowly, roll your shoulders in towards your back. Send your weight onto your right hip. And this time you're gonna swing your left leg all the way around. So your feet are both pointing forwards. Walk them in. Have your knees glued together. Wrap your elbows around your knees and give yourself another lovely, lovely hug. Drop your chin towards your chest. Feel this as a lovely big stretch down the back of the neck. Feel your lower back having a nice stretch and around as well. And you can keep it here as a really passive thing or if you want to test your balance, Try coming onto your toes. And for a bit more of a play, can you lift your toes away from the earth, but keep rounding up like a small ball. One more cycle of breath. Planting your feet down. Sitting up tall and coming all the way onto your back. And when you get to your back, squeeze your knees in towards your chest. Have a little rock from side to side. And then plant your left foot down, keep your knee up towards the sky. Your right piece fingers, first two fingers, are gonna catch hold of your right big toe, your left hand to your hip. And for the next five breaths, we're just going to play with this variation of happy baby. And I know the word play can feel quite scary and you might feel a bit like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. But that's the process of learning and this is the process of listening to your body and trusting your intuition. So you can rock from side to side. You can swap hands, take it across the body. You can play with straightening and bending the leg, bringing the foot closer to your hip or away up towards the sky. There's no right or wrong thing. As long as the breath is soft, the back of the neck can let go. Keep the head uh, relaxing down into your mat. And let's lower that leg down and stop. So bring your left leg, your peace fingers, first two fingers, catching hold of your left big toe, and then taking a play. You can even close your eyes here if that feels nice. If that takes the pressure off from looking silly. <laughs> Both legs are gonna feel different. The hamstrings or the hips. The glutes might feel stickier in different places. So really listen, don't go in with any expectation. Take one final movement and then lower that left leg down towards the floor. Ah, let's extend the right leg out long and the left leg out long, closing the eyes and looking over your left shoulder. The eyes can stay closed. Bring the head back up to center. Looking over your right shoulder, you might need to adjust the shoulders in the back. Look back up to centre. And then let go. Let go of the weight of the legs. Let go of the weight of the arms. If you've got a blanket nearby, 
grab it. And as we move towards the end of our practice together, let's come back to our breath. Let's inhale for three, two, one, and then it all go, sigh out, <sighs> make a noise. Two more times, inhale for three, two, one, let it all go. <sighs> Last time, really mean it for three, two, one, sigh out, let go. <sighs> Surrender into your practice. Surrender into this moment. And feel free to set a timer for another three, four or five minutes if you want to stay a little longer in this shavasana and this relaxation. No worries, if not, I completely understand. Let's bring our palms together on Dele Mudra and lift the thumb up to the third eye. Take a moment to return to your intention that you gave yourself a few moments ago. Is there a way of bringing this intention off of your mat and into the everyday? That's a big question. You don't need to know the answer right now. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.